Have you ever been to Old Changi Hospital? No, I haven't been, but you know, I've heard really creepy stories from that place. You know, like what do you hear? I, I hear like people who stay in the area or drive past can see things. Yeah, everybody says things. What are things exactly? Are they like what care bears roaming around or what are they like stuffed toys or? Well, I don't know. Has anybody explained like maybe it was a flying person or a shadow? Was it or? They say white figures. White figures. Huh? Maybe it's like somebody from a high rise building somewhere through tissue paper. It's Changi. Yeah. There's no high rise building there. Well, I've never been there as well. <laughs> uh, for the plain fact that I heard it was haunted, haunted, haunted. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't hanging around with friends who thought it might be a cool thing to do to go there. Uh, but that's it. Stomper Sheena wrote in to say that she was at an encounter she do had do there. Do 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 do. Well, Sheena was there to film an upcoming documentary, Haunted Changi. And if she is to be believed, they captured a lot of scary footage with shadows and figures when they visited one night close to the anniversary of the Japanese invasion. She says one of the photos shows a strange shadow in the hallway and another infrared camera shows something that the other two cameras did not catch. Now, another one of the crew has been sick since the day itself mm. and on the blog they said that things weren't shy during the visit. Yeah, these things. Now, the first question is why? Why do you want to go there? Why do you want to film there? Uh, keep in mind that this bunch of people are making a documentary about this uh, haunting so it's something like a prelude to pique your interest before the film is officially released. Uh, that's all fine and dandy. But why there? I mean, it's also been done like before you know everybody's been talking about Changi Hospital for years we need new haunted places Jurong Island maybe Jurong Island how's that haunted Pulau Ubin Pulau Tekong yeah maybe maybe by the same token however I wonder why not Singapore is not very big after all and these things are necessary to keep our culture going being an Asian superstition spirits and the like have always been the forefront of our culture I mean I can imagine uh, you just look at how pantang people are over at CNY uh, this storm article recently where people pray to a tree for like 40 numbers or something right yeah exactly so when you think that this is important to us I guess so uh, I know all these spirits and ghosts were really popular in Tukong when you went in for army I mean ghost stories then were traded like currency you know you pass the time with them even though some of them were just too ridiculous to be believed uh, this was before you could bring in your PSP to army as I heard some recruits are doing well I heard a couple of ghost stories where you know people like take uh, skulls from the ground and put it in boxes and they would pray to it yeah yeah and then they would ask for like 40 numbers yeah yeah and and then they would like you know um, get them to heal a sick family member things like that until you know it was put a stop to yeah the two most I mean the two scariest uh, ghosts that I know of is probably one is the you know the toyo mm. which is supposed to be like uh, some unborn fetus and it's always existing at the peripheral vision of your eye so apparently like every time you see something and you look around it's not there it's actually the toyo and it I don't know, it just does like bidding for the for the master at the cost of like blood or something. And the other one is um It's not the Ellie McBeal dancing baby, is it? That is quite scary too la. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that could be. <laughs> but I think the fetus was born la. The other one is also when you know like when you're sleeping and then you can't get up and then they say it's because like I mean you're awake and all that but you can't move because they say a spirit is like sitting on you or something like that. I mean for a spirit that guy has a lot of weight la. A fatty spirit that one. <laughs> well, isn't it just called pure exhaustion? Like you wake up, but like you can't get out of bed. That's yeah, maybe. And this spirit only started visiting me after I started working, so mm. that could be it. Mine started in school already. We are all destined to lead a <laughs> worryless life. Okay, that's all the time we have for Ground Zero. See you next week. <laughs>